Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Picking here. I know it's Saturday and we're doing auction finds on Saturday, but that's because we have a Monday fire sale and we definitely want you to be there Monday at noon Central Standard Time for the fire sale. But we have got some awesome auction finds that you'll be able to find right on hookedonpicking.com under the fun finds category right now. So let's go ahead and check out the fun stuff we found. All right, first off, I want to say thank you to everybody who commented about Chuck, my father-in-law, being on the last video. So if you didn't get a chance to check that out, check it out. He's the one that finds all these amazing things from auctions as well as sometimes my son. But let's go ahead and go to the auction finds. What do we have as far as treasures? This is a Selmar High, uh, HS Deluxe Clarinet made in France with the case. Um, we have it at 75 which is the low end of what these sell for. Sometimes they sell around $400, but there's no way for me to really test it. So um, we're just selling it kind of as is with the case, $75. You can go straight to the fun finds category and hooked on picking.com. So it comes with everything you see there. Then we have a wall sconce with uh, candle holders there, $15. Really nice metal piece with a cool eagle there. Very vintage. And then we have this awesome teacher belt buckle, $10 for that really, really fun condition there. It's got all the sports and music and all sorts of fun things on it. And then this was a really cool find. So this is a set of tracks, okay, unrelated to the train behind it. But this is a set of tracks with transformer. It's 35 total pieces. This is three rail O gauge is what it's called, train track, uh, with two transformers. These are untested. Okay, so they are here, but, um, you know, some of the cording is not in the best condition, so we're just going to say untested um, and kind of sell it as is. Now, each one of these sets of tracks are 35 pieces. You have 17 of the straight tracks like this, 12 of the larger curve tracks, 4 of the short straight tracks, and 2, I'm oh, sorry, uh, two of the short straight tracks and four of the short curve tracks. So that's your total 35 piece set and they do all just clip in with these little posts here. So that's really cool. If you're a train collector, this is three rail O gauge. All right. We're going to stay with the trains. We actually have this train. I think personally, we own this one was given to us by a train collector back in the day. This is $30. I don't know if it's worked, but we did open the tinder box where the batteries go. There's no corrosion or anything. It does come with a few pieces of track, um, but the tinder is where the batteries are held. You hook it up to the actual engine and then it actually will drive. So it can be a battery operated train and it comes with these two the caboose and then a train. Do you want car. to pick up the engine? They may want to see the yeah, engine. Yeah, so this is a really cool It's the Denver Express. And it's a really, really pretty one. Now, ours actually works that we yep. own, but we actually just set it out for display. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a really pretty piece to just display. A lot of people so, just display even the uh -huh. caboose. So, like, with this track, you'd have enough to actually sit it on the track and display it or just put it on a countertop because it sits nice. All right. Then next we have this awesome vintage iron. I would just get this for a decor piece. It's amazing. I'm sure you could use it if you heated up the metal and worked it out. Um, so it's got a beautiful, beautiful wooden handle there with the metal base. And that is $12.50 for that vintage iron. Now, this is a really cool piece. It is a solid wood car. All right. Solid wood car. The wheels actually do move freely. But somebody spent some serious time on that. $15. It does have some minor damage. So it's missing the steering wheel. And then um, these things just probably need to be pushed in a little bit. But as far as a display piece, that thing is gorgeous. Somebody really put some time and energy into it. I mean, it's even got all the little details on the dashboard. So it's a really cool wooden, solid wood piece. It's pretty heavy. Um, and so it's $15 for that solid wooden car. Check out on Fun Finds. Then we have um, uh, vintage looking Campbell soup. Always a touchdown sign. It's got the four holes for the metal. Um, and so that's $15 as well. Then we have this cool rope and boat um, kind of framed piece of... Uh, Did you pick that up for me? I have sure. a hard time getting to it. Yep. And it's got all the different kind of nautical knots on it right there. So really cool sailboat with a map in the background and a bunch of different ways to tie those nautical knots. And so $25 for that. And it can be easily hung on the wall. So it's got a wire here or it's got the two holders there. So kind of a shadow box style of a sailing one. Now 
puppies, puppies, and more puppies. You ready to see the puppies? There, we have tons of them. All right, now this particular one is um, done by an artist. Uh, where'd you say that artist was from? Paul? New Mexico. New Mexico. So it kind of has that kind of New Mexico coloration, the white, the black, and the brown. And her name is Elise Old. O-L-G-U-I-N. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. Um, anyway, New Mexico, $10 for that cool piece. And then if we move on over, $7.50 for the cool little puppy planter. You can put some things in there or just use it as a pencil holder. Either way is fine. And then we'll move on over to our cool Made in Japan Vintage Bank. So this one was Made in Japan, $10 for that Vintage Bank. Really, really cool, pretty puppy dog. Look at all the detail in the back of that one. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to show you the planter, too. I didn't really kind of turn that one around. Boy, the planter's face is so cute. All right, and then we have this one is a Purebred Pets 1984 Kathy Wise piece of artwork. So that's a really cute puppy. Mm -hmm. So cute You want to show face. the bottom of that one? Sure. This one, oop, there we go. It does have little felt pads on it, so it doesn't scratch whatever furniture you put it on. All right, then we're going to go some really vintage. So this is 101 Dalmatians. I think this is a Disney toy bank, $7.50 that was put out around the time the movie was made. So I think this was kind of like merchandise when the movie was made, $7.50, and it is a piggy bank. So and it's, pla it's kind of the rubbery plastic, and then I think it has the plug on the bottom. All right. Then we have the cute little Basset Hound figurine. Look at him. He's so cute. He's a little chunky Basset Hound. Got some markings on the bottom, but we're not sure what those initials are. But kind of really neat piece, $7.50. Now the next one is really cool because it's a vintage West Germany, um, what is it, handwork, K-U-N-S-T-L-E-R. <laughs> S-C-H-U-T-Z. I'm just going to spell it because I'm going to butcher it if I try to say it. $20 for this, but these are really cool because it's West Germany. And then, Paul, you said West Germany doesn't exist anymore. Right. So anything West Germany usually goes for a really good price because it's collectible because there is no more West Germany. As far as I know. Yeah. Alrighty, and then number five is a cool purple kind of lavender glass dog, paperweight style, really neat. Let's see the profile there of his face. And then we have number 15, this is a set. So this is going to be a four-piece set. These are Bone China by S-H-I-K-E, is that R-N? N. K-E-N. Um, and this is what, is this Japan made? Yes, I believe so. Yep. Here's the sticker, guys. Yep. Right there. Oh, the vintage little figurines, really yeah. small little bone china pieces. Tell us which puppy you like the best, because there's all sorts of different faces on each of the puppies. So let us know which one you really, really like. And if you really, really like it, you can go to Hooked on Pick and Fun Finds category and find it. Yep, I'm going to do my best to post them all today. Yep. They should be posted. All right, so then we have this little uh, four-piece lot. So there's a little tiny planter and then three other dogs, and these are all made in Japan. So $10 for that made in Japan dog lot. So really fun auction finds. So some of these will be on the fire sale on Monday. Uh, and then if you want them right now, though, because you're watching the video right now, you can actually snatch them up on hookedonpicking.com uh, right in the fun finds category. So the link will be down in the description below if you want any of these items. But um, go ahead and uh, check those out. Lots of really cool vintage finds. Vintage finds. Also, for those of you who don't know, and you really enjoyed seeing the glass eggs on the fire sale, we do still have a couple of them left on the fun find category as well. Um, and we just put some new items on the store as well. So um, check out all of the items right on hookedonpicking.com under the fun finds category. And don't forget about Monday's fire sale. We have two this week, Monday and Thursday fire sales. So make sure you jump in and enjoy the fun on those fire sales. And of course, remember in the end, Jesus wins. Would you like to make tons of money selling on Poshmark? Well, check out my new ebook, How to Create a Profitable Poshmark Store. Why do we sell on Poshmark? Where to get my inventory? How to create my first listing? How to sell my items? And then, of course, I give you also all my secrets on my top tips. 
If you'd like to purchase this ebook, just go to hookedonpickin.com or click the link in the description below. You guys are a true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.